There'll be 30 million cars on the roads of Britain by the end of this century, and motoring will be a quite different affair. You just won't be able to get into your car and drive off from home to wherever you want to go. And here at the Road Research Laboratory today, they've been giving us some glimpses of what car using will be like in the future. They've been showing us for the first time some of the machinery which will enable them to bill us by computer for driving in these places. The idea is that at the entrance to the busy city centre or at other crucial points on the road, there'll be electrified loops of wire underneath the road surface. And as a car passes, it activates these electric wires. Now, every car or vehicle would have on it a little black box, and that's really a sort of electronic number plate which identifies that vehicle absolutely individually. As the car crosses the electric loops, the roadside recorder uh, is activated and says exactly which car has passed. The black box on the car is a pretty small but fairly sophisticated piece of electronics. And then the roadside recorder is either a mini computer or connected to a big computer. And it's from there that will eventually come the bills that we'll have to pay for travelling in the city centre. Or perhaps in the further future something even more complicated. It may actually be able to talk to us, to guide us. An alternative and simpler system is to have a fairly small meter in the car. Every time you cross the loop under the road, it just clicks over. The problem here is how to make meters which can't be fiddled, and also how to manage the meter reading and counting at the end. Another experiment is how to get as many cars as possible, as quickly as possible, onto the trains that will carry them through the Channel Tunnel. Sheds approximate the interiors of connected railway wagons primitive perhaps, but effective. Hundreds of local people have been attracted as volunteers for today's experiment. They were paid 50 pence an hour by the laboratory. Heath Robinson it may be, but the information gained today should help the motorist of the future when he goes for his holiday through the channel, optimistically from 1978 onwards. And the very last word is the totally automatic car, no driver at all. The whole thing's remotely controlled by cables and electric loops under the road. Steering, accelerating, gear changing, braking and stopping. All the switches and electronics in the car could be provided for £100. The radar device on the front will one day be able to tell how near you are to the car in front of you and slow you down automatically. Basically, it's all needed because you and I are not as good as machines. We tire, we lose concentration, we get cross. One day, we'll just be able to link our car onto an automatic system to take us right up the motorway. So we've had a glimpse or two of driving of the future. It's going to be probably easier, certainly more regimented. And the day may come when the driver becomes totally redundant. Here's my car. And away we go.